gladiators are honor made flesh for those they serve. For the glory of a house and its Lanista. Hey guys, it's Rai right here, and today I'm going to give you my initial impressions of Spartacus Legends, which is a free-to-play fighting game on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network, published by Ubisoft for the developer Kung Fu Factory. It is a 2 gigabyte download, so it shouldn't take up too much space on your hard drive. Hopefully you have enough space to download it and give it a try. Like I said, it is a free-to-play game, which means, although it is free-to-play, there are items in the game that you have to purchase with actual money uh, that they call in the game gold pieces, but you buy them with money. And I'll get into that a little more later. Uh, as you see me get into the game here and, and show some of the matches here, you're going to kind of see the basic fighting styles. Uh, I have a sword and a shield, fighting another guy with a sword and a shield. There are different kind of fighting styles. You can have a guy that, that uses two daggers instead of a sword and a shield, or two swords, um, a one-handed sword, uh, or even like a war hammer, for example, are all available as different types of characters you can play as. However, you once you pick a character, you do then have to go ahead and recruit other pl other characters and, and their fighting styles to for your second slot. If you want to unlock a third, fourth, fifth slot, that's going to cost you actual um, silver that you earn in-game for doing things like competing in matches, winning matches, earning crowd fame, things like that. Uh, as you see here, the style of the game is pretty basic. Now, don't be too hard on me now. This was only about, I think, the second match that I played. As you see here, I was still getting used to the system, but I wanted to get some, you know, game capture so you can see kind of how the game plays. Again, very basic. It's not going to wow you like a, a, a deeper fighting game would with a deeper combo system, uh, such as Injustice, for example. You're not going to get that level of in-depth fighting mechanics, but it is pretty pretty basic. Where it really does wow you more is the violence of the game. As you see here, the blood splatter uh, that shoots out right there. I stab that guy in the chest and you see the blood splatter shoot out. It's got executions you can unlock in the game and those are actually really very bloody. So if you're into the bloody, violent, gory type of fighting games, this one might be a little more your style. It does have, um, you know, some good things to say about it. I can't say it's it's all bad. It's, again, pretty basic on the controls. Uh, however, if you do like the visual effects, uh, those are pretty good. Some of the, the controls, I think, need to be worked out a little bit more. It feels a little clunky at times, and often... You know, you just feel like the, the character's not responding to you as fast as maybe it does in other fighting games. Uh, so that, you know, is something that I think they could have worked on a little bit more. Um, y there is Xbox Live support, but however, it's only Xbox Live through like a quick match, fun match function. I was online playing with some friends. We were trying to figure out, is there any way we can fight against one another? We can have a match against one another, maybe a tournament thing. There's nothing like that as far as we can tell. It was just right now, I mean, maybe they do plan on changing that later, but right now, it's just set up for a quick match. It throws you in a queue, and you go fight the next random, you know, person, random um, Xbox Live or, or PlayStation Network player that's in that queue. So that is something I hope they do fix, because again, being a free-to-play game but yet pay-to-win type game, it would be nice to see if you if you do actually spend money on this game and do unlock these things and do get stuff and get items and get swords and get armor. I'd like to be able to show those off to my buddies and have them see it. And that's kind of where this game really falls flat, I think. A lot of free-to-play games, you know, that you see, for example, on uh, the smartphones these days are free to play but there's a saying free to play but pay to win and a lot of them are pay to win which means that yeah you can play for free but if you wanna you know actually do anything in the game worthwhile you you're gonna have to pay for it if you wanna get that great gun that everybody's rocking you're gonna have to get that you know spend some money and spend actual real world, do real world dollars which I don't mind if I'm really into the game but the problem is is I kinda think you know what I a game like this for example I would have rather have spent ten to twenty dollars on the game and I probably would have bought the game and then just let me unlock things as I go along. Um, the way this game works, it, it has two systems. You earn silver in-game to buy certain items. You can buy most basic items with silver. If you want to get the good stuff, you got to usually shell out what they call gold. The gold system in this game, you get 50 gold pieces for 400 Microsoft points, which equals five dollars. And then I thought, okay, well let me go in and see how, you know, what kind of gold pieces, what kind of things we have here. And what you know, what kind of items are there for me to download? And for the most part, you you know, a, a standard sword uh, buying with gold 
would have cost you around maybe seven to ten gold pieces. That's all well and good, but when you think that, you know, things like ex unlocking executions, which run out er after five matches, you have to, you know, use gold for those. You have to use gold to maybe get certain perks or boosts. Use gold to get uh, armor for your legs or for your torso or a new shield. When you want to get the good stuff and you got to spend on this gold, you figure, okay, I'm not going to spend just, you know, get 50 gold points. I'm going to spend more, which the next tier up is 240 gold for 1,600 Microsoft points or $20. Well, at that point, then I may as well go ahead and just, why, why not just buy the game for 20 bucks? Because it's really, this is probably not worth more than a 15 to $20 game. If you ask me, it's actually kind of falls short because it's not full featured. You don't really have a whole character, you know, slew of characters you can choose from. Everything in the game basically costs money. Thus, you know, I would have had more fun with it if you just made me pay 10, 15 bucks maybe up front. I would have bought it at that price and then just let me unlock stuff as I go along. This way, they're probably, I'm not going to get a whole lot of money out of me. I'm likely going to play it for a little bit and then forget about it. Uh, this match here, they actually start you off. They do something, again, that a lot of clever free-to-play games will do. This was my first match. They started me off in this, you know, Roman-style coliseum with all these spectators. And I have a fully-fledged character wielding two swords with all this great armor and abilities. And I'm moving fast and quick. And it's giving me tips as I go along there. And you'll even see at this match the execution that I pull off that, you know, really kind of say, oh, wow, I can really do all this. But then when you start playing the game and realize I'm going to have to shell out money to do it or sit there and grind forever to get anything, uh, to get anything like this or anything remotely like this, it's probably not worth your money. Um, you can earn gold pieces in the game. However, I got, I got to level 5, I earned 2 gold pieces, and that's just simply not going to be enough to get anything done. I'm going to have to level up several more times before I'm able to buy anything. Well, as you see my execution up here, uh, I just wanted to say, you know, go ahead and download the game, give it a try, it's worth it. And, um, you know, if you like uh, the video here, please like and subscribe, and maybe I can do some more videos like this for you in the future. Uh, this is Rai Rai, signing off.